We are here at the command center of the JW Solo USA. Today we're working in the garage here, and I just built a cart that I bought from Hava Freight. Check this out. This is a Franklin 36 inches by 24 inches industrial poly perlin service cart. So I just decided to build this and then put it all together. Everything came in by parts and uh, this is a box. And here are some of the other boxes. And here are the legs here. I just put it together and I'm gonna mount the MPP Solar 6048. I have this thing already get into the handle can have a pop here this is for just um you know like a workshop cart a utility cart or whatever you want to use it for and it comes with the uh, wheels and uh, the two are steering and the other ones two are just uh stationary so i decided to put all together and all this stuff and got some three phillips screws all around the cart and four nut and bolt down at the bottom that holds the uh, wheels and the tray itself here. So I decided to put this thing here, what I'm doing today. Um, this is the preparation. This unit is not for me. It's not gonna be utilized in the United States. It's going overseas. I was building this to send it overseas for someone who had asked me to uh, design this stuff for him. And it's going to Africa, where um, all um, energy problems and uh, with, uh, we have more sun down there and uh, uh, just close to the equator. And this one, if you're curious, going to the west side of Africa and uh, I'm, I just decided to buy this cart and this is how I ship like batteries. Remember watch my video so I ship batteries overseas and this is the same thing. I'm going to be shipping this MPP solar PEEP 65, no 6048 um, MT I think, yes. It's right there. Well, guys, um, this is, it's going to put the batteries down here. So, batteries going down, or maybe this guy's going to be up here. But because of shipment, I don't want them to put any heavy equipment on top of this, unless I have to put some paddings. Well, if I put a padding up here, like um, a styrofoam or something, there's a potential they're going to put something on top of this cart. And without my observation, I'm not going to be around to see how this thing is shipped and it might not be handled properly. So who knows? So I don't want them to crush this device and put a lot of stuff in, ruin it, you know, break some of the components. And with all the work I've done, I think I'm going to throw it on the bottom there. The battery is going to be at the top. But because of the bottom is kind of stable, it's a fixed uh, structure. And this guy is not wobbling, it's not going anywhere. Just Now I'm pushing it just because of the wheels are steering. That's why uh, I was gonna put the batteries down there to be on the safe mode, or safe zone, where I can able to load six of the batteries here. So right now, what I'm gonna do, since we haven't fired up this design, uh, this system, and these are some of the batteries, but these are not the batteries gonna be going. It's gonna be too heavy for this cart because of the wheels, the way it's designed, if you see the legs, is I don't think it can handle a one old um, Nissan Leaf um, batteries. So I have batteries that go, on. look at this, it's not a thick, see? So I don't wanna put anything heavy on these guys. So I decided to go maybe with a, uh, Chrysler Pacifica, which is the LG cam, and uh, we can put these guys up here and go. And if you're thinking about utility carts, just like you wanna roll, you have a 
uh, um, a, a vehicle where you can roll this thing construction you have like a ramps that's what i was looking for I have a ramp you can have this one in your truck and get this thing bolt to it or leave it the way it is and you can power carry your power everywhere just like having a little generator like my yamaha ef2000 is inverter generator so something like that you can able to carry something like this on this cart and having batteries down here so today we're gonna fire up this thing and see how it works if because we never turned it on since uh we received this thing from mpp solar so what i did i just utilized one bank one one string right there so it's going to be 57.8 which is a um, 14s right now this thing can go to 16s which uh, we're gonna have like um, eight batteries in series that gives up the 66 to 67 ish but this guy can handle up to about 64 so what we're gonna do um, I pre-charged the capacitor because I don't a spark I just use the alligator clips right here so we're gonna fire up this thing keep his fingers across at first when I did there was an arc because these are not tied to the terminal because it's an inrush of current coming in and voltage in the arc and so now we're gonna turn by pressing this guy on this is the first time I'm seeing it on and we're gonna have the voltage there you go 230 volts it's reading the battery capacity it's not gonna be right because whatever it is, I don't know if MPP Solar has already changed the way if for this um, meter, the state of charge, if they fix it. Because with the PEEP uh, 2424 LV MSD, it's totally off. Okay, with the other ones I've used the uh, 3024GK. Uh, so maybe it works but now look at i sell us who put in the load right there and um this is just on idly mode which is gonna be no yeah just a normal mode which you don't put in a, a power saving mode so now it's just running constantly so if we ha would have put um something here like a meter and we test to the terminals right here there is going to be electricity flowing right now to this thing so maybe we can try that let's go and get the meter and test this guy and see how everything works stay tuned like and subscribe jw solo usa live from minnesota so with all the functionality of this cart we can able to get our wires here as well i wasn't sure i was going to able to test this device at all because of um time and the time is a thing but the part coming on time coming being here on time so and with work it's not just that easy at all so if we decide to get this guy here going he's on the off position so i don't think we're gonna be zapped here at all so if we have this probe right here so it's not connected yet if we flip this guy there you go 230 goes off that means our connection is right so what we have to do Two hundred thirty. I think what I have to try is like having maybe the panels, three panels, wired, and just set them out there, and see um, how much uh, power to see if the solar works on this side. Stay tuned. We're gonna be seeing from here. Live and subscribe, like, and share.
Okay, guys, I think I'm going to be throwing um, four panels out there to see just outside on the floor to see um, there's a, other ones here. See, um, so that we can test the, uh, the, the pit. So what I'm dealing with here, let me show you um, the specifications of the panel so you can have understanding what I'm going to be dealing with here. So if we do the VOC, let me go all the way this way. So the VOC, um, 45.9, so 45.9 times 4. 45.9, so it was a 45.9 times 4, 45, 45, 90, so 90, 180 something to almost very close to 200. We'll see if it's going to start the charge controller, okay? The, uh, the pip right here. So I turn it off for now. So it's kind of overcast right now outside and see what we can do. Here's a quick test. Stay tuned. Please don't expect too much. <laughs> Look at I started utilizing the cart. You get the tools here. Again, my wires I'm going to be taking now to the uh, charge controller. We're going to be wiring them in series for high voltage. Well, I managed to have five panels out there. This is how they're going to look like on the roof. And they're already wired in series for high voltage. So let's see the voltage. So we have a flip meter here. Let's put the I think the fluke meter cannot read the volt here. It's way too high. It's too high more than the DC uh, recommended. It's not doing it. It's over the voltage. I think, yeah, we can do it. So, this meter is too small. The meter is too small, so let's go about and do this and connect these wires now. Now we have the wires connected. Let's see how much voltage. First, we gotta turn the batteries on. It's hot, guys, over 80 some degrees here. So turn the system on and power it up. I'm surprised this fluke cannot go. Yeah, this is a 600 volt, but I don't know. So, it's blowing some cool air, air, and let's try and turn the, the solo on. I turn the knob on, and I flashing the solar. Showing the sun. It's charging. I don't like the alarms. So the input is two hundred almost. 198, I think it's still low. So it's bringing you 4.5 amps. Okay, now it's charging. It's hundred some watts coming in. It's charging. Awesome, right? <laughs> this is nice. The lights are flashing, see it's charging. Let's go back here. Nice, bringing 12 amps, 11, 12 amps. Battery is 
4.3 coming up from the panel print 680 600 and okay 733 10 amps to the battery there you go so 534 going to the battery that's what interesting Seven hundred watts. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. System is working. Thanks for all your support and for your help. Live here at Command Center GW Solo USA. We don't want to charge the other batteries too much, while the other ones are on the same voltage. So we're gonna cut off the PV from here. So that means my connections are all working. Cut it off. Down. Turn this guy off and shut the breaker. Everything is gone. Dead. Bye for now.